a book with communist regime in here, so I have to tell a quick communist joke. So, thing you gotta know is communist jokes are not funny unless everyone gets it. Okay, here's a story. It is 1945, and courageous 10-year-old Sukan and her family must endure the cruelties of the Japanese military occupying Korea. Police Captain Narita does his best to destroy everything of value to the family, but he cannot break their spirit. Sukan's father is with the resistance movement in Manchuria, and her older brothers have been sent away to labor camps. Her mother is forced to supervise a sock factory, and Sukan herself must wear a uniform and attend a Japanese school. When the war ends, out come the colorful Korean silks, and the bags of white rice. But communist Russian troops have taken control of North Korea, and once again the family is suppressed. Sukan and her family know their only hope for freedom lies in a dangerous escape to American-controlled South Korea. Here is the incredible story of one family's love for each other and their determination to risk everything to find freedom. Okay, did that give you a little bit of goosebumps? (laughs) All right, so this was a good book. Uh, definitely you should read it. If you do and you like it, I would recommend other historical fiction books. This one takes place, it's like 1945, so World War II, post-World War II era. So if you like this, I'd recommend other, other books like that. So Jennifer Nielsen, she is so good. Uh, she also has a couple historical fiction World War II era books. But the difference with this is this is actually an autobiography. This this actually happened to someone, and it's it's so crazy. And like I said, I love Jennifer Nielsen and all, but the World War II historical fiction books, there's so much about them, and they're all about Germany. And they're great and all. I, I One of my favorite kinds of books to read but I think that's what makes this one stand out is that there aren't any other books like it at least that I've read age range I'd say this is probably I don't know 12 and older uh, d- depending on your maturity or your child's maturity I liked it but there is it, it's it's rough because it's it's also like World War II Korea, and they're Japanese Imperial soldiers, and they're not nice to these civilians at all. Like, there's abuse uh, physically, you know, people are beaten and, and hurt and threatened to be, you know, um, and then there is a mention of girls being taken away to, uh, to live with the Japanese soldiers on the front lines as their spirit girls, so that's that's kind of iffy as well. Uh, but otherwise, though, it's a really good book, and it's a short read, too. So, like, I, I don't see why you wouldn't want to read it. Parental, I'd probably say Juice Box, just because of the little... It's it's a little violent in there. Uh, but otherwise, it's, it's a good book, and you should read. Okay, uh, so my one issue with this book... And it has nothing to do with the writing or the writing style or the author or the subject or anything like that. It's just the physical copy of the book that I got. You see, I got this book at a elementary school. They were discarding books they didn't want. I guess kids didn't read them or they wanted to make room for new books. And so I was like, you know what? I like World War II books. And, you know, this one looks chill. So I took it and I finally got around to reading it. And as I was reading it, I realized that there are words in here that are censored. And I don't know what your guys' opinions on censored books are, but it was kind of annoying. Uh, just because, like, one, you vandalize a book. That's not chill. And two, I didn't know what the words were. And, like, context clues made it even hard for me to figure out what they were saying. I'm assuming it was a swear. Uh, Google doesn't tell me, but I'm like, I feel like I'm missing out on just like a little bit of the story. So that's a little annoying. It was also at an elementary school, so I can see why they may have censored like a couple words. There was only like two or three. So I'm wondering if they were slurs or crass names or something like that. But if it was really that bad, part of me wants to say that maybe it shouldn't have been at the elementary school to begin with. 
or you know maybe reserved for kids who are at least in sixth grade or seventh grade i don't know uh i also think it might be illegal to to edit books like that i don't know comment down below whether you think uh books like this should should be edited or censored for younger audiences to read uh comment down your opinion i'm actually really interested to see what it might be all right Okay, let's get to the ratings. Humor factor. I this is real life, and in this book, uh, someone's real life, and it's r- true story. Funny factor. I'd say you know very low one, if any. They you know they're living in like a Great Depression era in their country. Cool factor. I'd say four out of five. It's an interesting story, and it's. I, I just love their resilience and how they're able to get through all of this. Uh, Page Turner, it's a short book, so that's already at least a three. And so it's a little bit slow, but uh, but also super interesting. So like 3.5 out of 5, I'd say. Characters, if you read my book, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, you would know that I don't really like to rate characters in autobiographies or based on true story events because I feel like that's unfair. And, you know, sure, it's possible that the author could have put in a little extra words or, you know, uh, buffed up somebody. I feel it's unfair and I'm judging, I'm, 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 I'm reviewing books, not people, you know. But the characters actually were interesting. I, I enjoyed reading about them. You have the main character, Sukan, and she's, I think she's like 10. And then you have her little brother who's around seven and he's there the entire story. And then you have her mother, you have her grandfather who uh, tragically dies uh, due to Japanese harassment. And you have her aunt Tiger, who is nicknamed Tiger because of all the stories she tells. Uh, so characters, uh, if I had rated, I'd say mm, 3.5 out of five. All right, so for Rocks Review, I have made kind of like an executive decision that I'm going to change Rocks Review from my overall opinion to the average of my my four factors, my funny, my cool, my page turner, and my characters. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I, I took the average of them, and I got three. And then I re-rated uh, page turner to a four, and then I got... 3.125. So I don't know how I like it. I'm I'm going to add that I like the book and bump it up to the Rocks Review was actually a 3.5 out of 5. This was a really good book. Uh, I feel like 3.5, I don't know, I feel like that's kind of low, 3.5 out of 5. But that's going to be my rating. If you think I should change it, you know, comment down below. I, you know, I'm starting to hate that rating. I definitely like this book, and I think you would like it too. Uh, make sure you get it. I'm sure you could find it on Amazon or something like that. If you like this video, make sure to show your appreciation by pressing the like button. If you want me to do a book that you liked or something that you, no, other people aren't reading, or if there's a book that you want to read but you don't want to like put any work into thinking about if you want to read it or anything, I'll just review it, and then you can see if you actually do. Uh, and if you want to get more content like this and hear about other books that you may like or uh, should be reading, uh, press the subscribe button. Hey, uh, go out, read some books, live your best life. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Cheers.